On Tuesday, June 3rd, Alabama voters will be headed to the polls to elect a new Secretary of State. It's an open seat and the Alabama Farmers Federation is proud to have endorsed John Merrill who's seeking the office. Glad to have you here with us. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and your background. Paul, oh, it's great to be with you. I represent Tuscaloosa County in the State House today. I'm completing my first term, but I grew up in Cleburne County where my dad was the probate judge and circuit clerk of the county for the first 18 years of my life. My mom taught school there. Went to the University of Alabama and became president of the student body at Alabama. My wife and I met there at Calvary Baptist Church where I'm a deacon and we have two children. Both of them are grown. My son is a graduate student now after he completed his degree at the University of Alabama. He's at the University of South Florida, an MBA candidate. My daughter is a student assistant in Coach Battle's office there at the athletic department. She's studying business management. Wow, it sounds like you've got a great background to serve as our next Secretary of State, but what made you want to seek the job? Well, I've been interested in this since I was 14 years old, and something happened when my dad was a probate judge that really got me interested in it, Paul, but I have been following that office for a long, long time, and some interactings that I had with the office through my legislative service and really through constituent services that I've been able to provide for people that live in my district really let me know that there was a significant need there and so I began to evaluate it, talk to people, build up support and realized that the support and interest was there to support me and so I pursued it and have been very fortunate to have received y'all's endorsement and support and I'm very encouraged by that. We know you're going to do a great job. What are some of your priorities that you might have uh, when you're elected? Well, the, the main thing is to preserve the integrity of the elections process and to make sure that that is done in such a way that your people and that all citizens of Alabama should expect that it would be done. Uh, maintain voter integrity. Photo ID that we passed in 2011 will be implemented this time and to make sure that the safety and security of the elections process is held out. But also to streamline business filings which are very very important and then in the area of quality of life issues like international adoptions which is one of the things that got me so interested in the race we need to make sure that the people that work there take care of our people as if they were a member of their own family. you got a great vision. I know you're going to do a great job. So tell folks how they can get involved in your campaign and uh, make sure that you're elected. Sure, they can go to my website at electjohnmerrill.com. They can call me on my cell phone at 205-887-2787. Uh, they can follow me on Facebook. Twitter, LinkedIn, any of those sources are, are obviously eligible. We'd love to have their financial support. We'd love to have their volunteer support in their local communities because there's no stronger grassroots organization in the state of Alabama than the members of the Alabama Farmers Federation. Well, thank you. And we wish you the best of luck as you're meeting people from all over the state and uh, good luck. Thank you, friend.